Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and welcome to another session on kinematics of machines. Today we'll take up one more problem on creating velocity diagrams for different sorts of mechanisms. And here we go. This is the configuration diagram for which we need to make the velocity diagram first and then we need to work out these two stuffs. Okay, velocities. Fine, how to do this? Just take a look at the dimensions which have been given to us. This is 600 millimeters and there is a dimension 300 millimeters. This is 1200 millimeters. That means 120 centimeters or 1.2 meters. Pretty huge. Okay, this dimension is pretty huge. So what we need to do is we need to use a reducing scale. We need to scale it down. Okay, in simple terms. So the best possible way to go ahead with this is to just assume, just assume that 100 millimeters is equivalent to 10 millimeters okay in that sense this will be 30 mm this will be 60 mm this is going to be 120 mm and this is going to be 60 mm that's it so the first point that we are going to kick off with is this okay that's the point that's the point rather point o o a is 300 mm that is 30 mm okay we are going to take it as 30 mm here we go how much this is at an angle of 30 degrees with this vertical now what we'll try to do is we'll try to make this line which is 600 mm away and we're going to take it as 60 mm here we go 60 mm away okay and somewhere along this line we have this point this point that is point c how far from a so the distance of point c from a is 1200 mm but we are going to take it as 120 mm so with this as center cut an arc cut an arc like this okay 120 mm arc and that's going to give you point G. It's, it's that simple. Now join A with C and there you go. Similarly, B lies exactly at the center of A and C. So randomly pick this point. That is point B. Now we need to find where D is. Well, E is the guideway and G is also the guideway. You can clearly see that these two blocks, these two rather green blocks will, will sort of have a translatory motion. Okay, linear motion somewhere along this line and D will have an motion somewhere along this line and this line over here is at an angle of 30 degrees this line is absolutely vertical okay you can you can call this as a piston or something okay reciprocating motion you can say now we need to find d how can we do that distance of d from b is 1200 mm that is 120 mm so from b cut an arc over here 120 mm that's going to be point d and then just try to make this make this purple dash dot dash dot line okay at an angle of how much 30 degrees just passing through this point let me show you that's it that's it 30 degrees and then make the guideway here and make make it this point over here also and now you need to make this this just it's, it's a rough drawing okay like this so this pretty much completes our configuration diagram which we had to recreate and corresponding to which we'll be making the velocity diagram and here we go let's move further first thing where is the crank here it is okay and it is rotating in the clockwise direction that means the linear velocity is going to be somewhere here and we need to find this linear velocity now guys linear velocity v we know very well is a product of angular velocity multiplied by r and omega is nothing but 2 pi n over 60 because it is rotations per minute and one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds that's why multiplied by r you just need to punch in all the values and you'll get the linear velocity of a at point a rather. and uh, so just put it up 2 pi multiplied by rpm is 200 and that's 60 multiply by this link OA. OA is how much? Let me see. That is 0 0.3 meters, 300 mm. But if you convert that, it's 0 0.3 meters. I just do the math. This is precisely going to work out as, let me see. Um, It's going to work out as 6.28 meters per second. 6.28 meters per second. That's it. And that's why. In order to make the corresponding velocity diagram, you need to take a scale. Okay, so this is the first uh, sort of velocity with which you'll be making a length. 
here it is 6.28 meters per second i have taken it as 60 millimeters it's very comfortable it will fit in properly no problem you can take it as uh, 70 millimeters also it's absolutely up to you but if you take it as 60 millimeters um things will get even for us and we can actually match the answers very uh, at each and every step here we go so the fixed points are o g and e okay these are the sort of fixed links you can say e is a guideway along which this green colored block or d would reciprocate g is the guideway along which this block c will reciprocate only in the vertical direction this d only in a direction at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal and that's it guys you can you can see this you take the 60 over to over to this side you'll have a 1 mm is equal to this much you take the 6.28 over to this side you'll have one meter per second remaining and the remaining stuff is this great so let's kick off let's let's mark a point first and this point corresponds to all the fixed links o g and e okay now what we need to do is you can clearly see this is absolutely perpendicular at this instant of time that is at an angle of 30 degree with the vertical you keep your roller scale perpendicular to this link oa something like this roll it until you reach here okay and then draw a line this way and that's going to give you point a and this is velocity a you can say i'm not going to write anything right now let's move further and let's try to locate this point c okay we know the location of c with respect to a and we know the location of c with respect to g also this g now keep your roller scale perpendicular to this link ac somewhere like this and with respect to a roll it until you reach here make a line that's it okay with respect to g this this rather point c is going to move in the vertical direction okay it's it's going to have a linear velocity in the vertical direction so place your roller scale in this manner bring it over to this side with respect to g that's g that's g make a vertical line and this intersection point will give you point c and let me finish this properly and let's get rid of this here we go so we've got the velocity triangle fine so clock this is anti-clock same order and this is the opposite order that's the policy of triangle law okay let's fit in this point b point b is right between a and c between a and c you need to mark a point that's going to be point b now we need to locate point d with respect to b and with respect to e now keep keep your roller scale along this link bd or rather perpendicular to this link bd like this okay roll it until you reach b and then draw a line like this simple secondly what you can do is this point d is going to have a, a translatory motion rather a linear movement along this line so keep your roller scale along this line okay with respect to this okay with respect to e now draw a line why because e is the guideway and this intersection point now guys will give you point d and that's it let me finish this properly and there you go so we are pretty much done we are pretty much done and that's it you can also find the velocity of point b with respect to this fixed link so the first thing is to find the linear velocities of c and d vc vc is equal to what vc is equal to oc oc just measure how much oc is how much oc is and that's it and this precisely if you have taken the scale same as mine this oc will work out as 51 millimeters let me just write this 51 mm and you need to make a conversion 1 mm in meters per second let me see it's 0.105 it's 0.105 and you just do the math this is going to work out as 5.36 meters per second there you go in the same manner we can also calculate velocity d absolute velocity d v d where is it yeah so od measure od od and that is going to work out as 16 millimeters very small again do the same math 16 multiplied by 0 0.105 and you get this converted into meters per second and that's 1.68 meters per second now guys in the same manner we can move forward with the angular velocity also and let me formulate we've got this omega ac 
okay now v is equal to omega r omega is going to be equal to what v over r so v ac over ac itself how much is v ac let me see ac where is it gone yes ac just try to measure the length of this vector that is ac vector and this is precisely work out working out as 56 but that is in millimeters you need to convert it so let me multiply that by 0 0.105 0 0.105 and this is going to get converted in meters per second what is ac you know what it is 1200 mm so in meters it's going to be 1.2 okay just do the math and this is going to precisely work out as 4.9 radians 4.9 radians per second with angular velocity is always in radians per second okay what's next we've got to work out bd okay so omega bd again same stuff linear velocity bd upon bd itself that is the length of the length bd where is it gone that's d that's b measure bd with the help of a simple scale that measurement will be 50 approximately okay divided by but with 50 also has to be converted okay this has to be converted so you need to multiply it with 0 0.105 and that's it this value is now in meters per second the value of bd is how much 1.2 meters so just put it up and punch all of these uh, values into a calculator this is going to be 4.375 radians per second so guys this is exactly how the linear velocities and angular velocities can be calculated from the velocity diagram itself and that's all for today i'll see you again in the next video until then take care and have a nice day thanks for watching